Claire here from Claire Anderson Photography and I am going to go over some of my favorite ways that I like to tone my images. Um, this is just a couple different suggestions and some different um, techniques that I use when I edit my photos. Um, now I have actually created an action um, that I use on all my seniors just for consistency and so it saves a lot of time in editing, um, which I think we all need. But I wanted to go over some different um, ways that you can adjust the colors so you're not having to use actions all the time and just so you have an understanding of what to do when, you, or to, when you're looking at a photo and you're thinking, okay, I wanna make this more saturated, but not just going to the saturation filters because we don't wanna saturate the entire image. Maybe you just wanna focus on um, selecting one color so I'm just going to show you a couple of different techniques that I use and hopefully some of these will be helpful for you so um, my first one that I always like to go to is this black and white filter um, this one I feel like a lot of people including myself wouldn't have originally thought of because it's a black and white filter so I'm just thinking okay well this is just for black and white photos um, but it's not so this is actually one of my favorite tools to do at first, um, and I will show you why in just one moment. So go ahead and click, I just, all I did was click on the black and white um, adjustment layer here, and then it popped up a new adjustment layer down in my um, layers down at the bottom. So um, right now it's on normal, so go ahead and change that to soft light. And when you do that, you'll see, okay, this does not look good. What is this? Um, and that's okay. So um, what we're gonna, the first thing I do is bring the opacity way down. So I usually keep it around 20. And then I go up to um, the colors up at the top. And this is where I adjust um, the reds. And I like to mainly adjust the reds and the yellows just because it really, um, controls the contrast in the face and also um, the colors here so as you can see um, changing up the yellow and uh, the yellow slider also ad adjusts her dress so I just have to be mindful of that as well um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more contrast um, the greens I don't like my greens to be super neon and I know I get a lot of questions about that sometimes um, how to keep your neat or your greens not too neon and keep them kind of crisp so this is a good place to adjust your greens I kind of lower it right there um, I don't really have any cyans um, or blues and then my magentas too as you can see like the flowers are going to get adjusted here so every photo will be different um, so I do have the action where it doesn't flatten it so I can go in and make these adjustments as I need to so I'm gonna go ahead and bring that down to about 15 so as you can see it does um, bring in a lot more contrast um, if it's too much under um, since she has her hat on it kind of has this shadow right here so if that's too much you can always pick up your brush in um, with the mask the mask layer on you can just change it to a white brush and then just simply brush out the areas where you don't want it to be um, oh, I'm on the wrong one so make sure you pick up a black brush if you have a white mask and then just paint on where you want the shadows to come back up okay so the next thing that I like to do is open up my selective um, color layer so I just clicked on um, the adjustment layer selective color and then it brings up the all the different colors um, but the main one that I like to go to is neutrals because I feel like it, it has the most um, effect on the photo. So the yellows and the cyan. So these this is really going to change the overall feel of your photo. So you want to make sure that you know the direction that you're going. Um, this is helpful for one, playing around and just figuring out what your style is, and then two, once you have it, it's easy to just use this to really fine tune what you're trying to achieve. So for me, my photos are, I like them light and airy, so um, I use this to kind of portray the mood that I want it to give. So it was a little overcast, I think, this day, so um, I'm gonna add 
the yellows in right here and then with my cyans I'm just going to bring those down as you can see you don't have to move it a lot to get a really really big difference so don't go too crazy here um, I think the key is just like little adjustments um, it's not like a one button you know fix all type thing which I think um, you know it's it's really more just kind of fine-tuning and figuring out what your style is and what what colors that you want it to um, portray. So I'm going to take my cyans down a little bit, um, bring my yellows up, and then with the blacks, this also controls a lot of the contrast. I do like it airy, but I also like some contrast, so I'm just going to bring that down just a little bit. So as you can see, it brought in a lot of um, more kind of color or saturation like around her skin. Her skin tone, it's not it's so gray, it has a little bit more depth to it. So, um, And then you can go through each one of these colors and it's gonna do something completely different um, to the photo, but neutrals is my go-to in this, in the um, selective color adjustment layer, but feel free to go through each one and kind of play around with it and see what it does for your photo. Um, one thing that you can also do too, if you do a lot of different adjustments and you haven't saved an action for it, you can just click right here at the top right hand corner and do save selective color preset. So then next time you load an image from the same shoot, you're, you can go into your selective color layer and just load that action rather than having to figure out, okay, how do I get this image to look the same? Um, you want to make sure you have the consistency, so that's a really good tool to use um, to whenever you're editing multiple photos. Um, so that's selective color. And then another one that I love is the curves tool. And I use a lot of it for just adding overall contrast, um, but I also use it for color toning. So um, if you click at the top um, left hand corner where it says RGB and just go to the red channel and then this is where you can really really change the look of your photo so if you're wanting kind of something a little more vintage you don't like a lot of saturation you can go in the red channel and just slide your um, little the slider down here at the bottom so I like a little bit of saturation so I'm not going to go too crazy there um, and as you can see, you still want it to keep it natural. So just go and make minor adjustments. Go ahead and do the same thing in the green slider. Um, I do like a little bit of magenta. And then the same thing with the blue. Click on the blue channel and make any adjustments that you want. And again, you want to make sure for consistency. Oh, I went a little too crazy there. But you want to make sure for consistency purposes that you do have it across the board. So again, you can save the curves preset once you have it figured out to exactly how you want it. And then you can see all your different adjustments there. Um, sometimes I'll do another curves layer. Um, so I can do a little bit of contrast. Just be careful because this does control all the colors This the when you're on the RGB curves tool right here. So just make sure that you're mindful of all the colors that you just did there. So Okay, and then let's just look at before and after. So this is without even going in and doing too many fine tunes fine-tuned details, just basic color toning um, using the black and white adjustment layer, the selective color, the curves tool, and um, the other the curves tool that controls all the colors. So I hope that was helpful and please let me know if you have any questions about anything. I do offer um, full Photoshop tutorial going over frequency separation um, for the more advanced users or even from Lightroom to Photoshop, my whole workflow. So let me know if you have any.